What's up guys, my name's Emmett, and today I'm going to be showing you a bit of what my friend Sonny's day is like. He's a computer engineer here at RIT, and also one of my teammates on the RIT crew team, and I'm going to meet him at Ritter Arena right now to do a little workout in the morning. I'll see you there. Sonny and I usually start our days by rowing in the Genesee River, but today we don't have practice, so we're going to do the closest thing to rowing, and that's erging, which is sitting on a rowing machine for like an hour and pulling as hard as you can. And I just finished a solid erging workout early in the morning. We're gonna take a shower, get ready for class, and uh, I'll see you at Java's, all right? This is Java's, the coolest place to get a coffee and a bite to eat on campus. Met up with Sonny and got a cappuccino, then we headed over to his classes. This is the Cape Gleason College of Engineering. I have a ton of classes here, it's pretty cool. Let me show you what it's all about. Let's check it out. Oh, thank you. Uh, Sonny, what is this uh, race car? Oh, uh, this is part of RIT Racing. This is a formula car, which is built and designed by all the students here. And anybody on campus can be part of this team, part of the aero team, part of the budget team, as a racer, as anything part of this. This RIT launch initiative, they build really, really cool rockets. Go high as hell. <laughs> When I actually did my tour here, my tour guide was the person who actually designed this motorcycle. Oh, cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah, but um... Alright, cool. You're like, this is the machine shop lab? <laughs> We're not really allowed in here, but... Because I'm in a different college, I'm not really allowed to go in any of the labs, so I'm just gonna list all the really cool ones and show you cool photos. Okay, there's the AM Print Center, Biomechatronic Learning Laboratory, Occupational Ergonomics and Biomechanics Lab, Toyota Production Systems Laboratory, Sustainable Energy Lab, and right now we're headed to one of the Computer Engineering Teaching Labs. Uh, this is the Embedded Systems Lab. Uh, it's part of my Assembly Language and Embedded Systems class right now. We do Assembly Language and work on chips and how they uh, function with like uh, laptops and computers and stuff like that. It's very cool, very interesting topic. Yeah. Sonny, what's, uh, what's this? Uh, this is the microelectronics and microsystem labs. Nice. Uh, they have, you have the diffuse light in here, and you got to wear. Uh, you, you can't wear your normal clothes in here. You got to wear special like clothing for this. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to have like airbrush because there's no dust inside, and they build like chips, uh, which are used <laughs> in your uh, phones and like laptops and stuff. Nice. Uh, what's this building, Sony? Oh, uh, it's the institute hall. Uh, I have one of my engineering classes in here. Sonny had a class in Institute Hall yet to go to, so I took a walk through PyQuad to show you the last building Sonny has his classes in. Uh, the computer side of computer engineering takes place in Galasano Hall, where almost every computer science class is held. I love it because of how green and open it is. Galasano literally has trees growing next to computer labs. After our tour, I decided to conduct a little interview with Sonny about what I think your burning questions would be about classes, extracurriculars, professors, homework, um, and I'm putting that at the end of the video because what's really important is that during the interview Sonny asked me uh, to go to his favorite Indian restaurant and uh, We're gonna eat really spicy food. <laughs> what, what's your favorite Indian restaurant around here? Uh, I would personally recommend the Hyderabadi Biryani house It's one of the best in my professional opinion as a foodie <laughs> All right, you want to go tonight and just like eat like the spiciest possible dish? I will make you cry All right, <laughs> Oh, Sonny and I are out here. We're about to destroy some uh, Southern Indian food. Yes, sir. And uh, I still think I can beat him uh, in a spicy eating competition. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's see. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Sonny and I went some Indian food. It was good, but it was not spicy. It was. It was not. It was not it was spicy. Yeah. So I don't know. The spice off was kind of disappointing, but it was a good day. I know we're backlit, but this is way cooler than like the orange wall behind us. So, all right, Sonny, um, got some questions for you. What are the coolest opportunities you've had from your major? Um, I'm currently working on research with uh, computer engineering professors and psychology professors to develop a cerebral neural network, which basically identifies objects like a human would and just make life easier for yeah, basically. Tim, uh, <laughs> I'm working on uh, designing spatulas right now. Oh, that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but apart from that, I get to talk to a lot of like leading industry experts from a lot of companies 
like Boeing, uh, Lockheed Martin, uh, mm-hmm. L3 Harris, uh, Apple, uh, Kodak, and like a lot of companies like that, which is very interesting. So wait, are you seeing like they bring in like speakers from like the different companies? Speakers or- and when they come for like the job and job fairs, so you, you mm-hmm. get to talk to like from a lot of fields and a lot of companies. You get to talk to a lot of people basically. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what is your uh, favorite class been? Uh, my favorite class would be my software engineering class right now. Um, we have a pretty cool term project coming up. Uh, we're developing a, a website of our own and we have to code it from scratch. So that's cool. We can design it ourselves. We can code. We have to code it ourselves. So it's, we have creativity too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, no, I like the word design. It's my favorite. Okay. Um, what made you choose RIT out of any school in the entire world? You want to like say like where you're from and like why you chose it? Like, uh, I'm from uh, Bangalore, India, and Bangalore is basically the tech capital of India. So I was I grew up with like a lot of tech around me, uh, and like we knew. I know. I mean, US is the one of the best places to do, to do your engineering, and RIT was one of the best in the US to do engineering. So mm-hmm. it was always an obvious choice for me. Uh, the engineering program is excellent. The co-op is excellent. I mean, all around, RIT is just RIT is just a good, a very good school to come to. I feel. Yeah. Um, let's see. What is the? Uh, all right. How much homework do you really have? <laughs> that depends. So if I get it done on the day, I won't have anything like lagging, and it won't build up. Mm-hmm. So uh, comparatively, I do have a lot of homework because I'm an engineering student. Yeah. But if if you get it done on time, I don't think it's an issue at all. Unless and until you 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 uh, like compile it all and then try to do it at one time, yeah, that becomes harsh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you still get a ton of free time. Sunny's on the like crew team with me, and yeah. I mean, we spent like how many hours a day? Like, do we have dedicated like probably like four hours at yeah, least but, dedicated? Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, so like, I mean, it's not to a point where you're struggling to do your academic work and your social lives. It's mm-hmm. it's very well balanced, I would say. Yeah. So, uh, pretend I didn't just say that. But what are your favorite things to do outside of class? Uh, I love rowing. Um, there's group like there's great set of students here, so I love hanging out with uh, people from different different uh, walks of life and different countries, and because just because the diversity over here. Uh, we have the Red Barn, which uh, I, I've not gone yet, but uh, I would love to go sometimes. <laughs> you plug in the climbing gym that you haven't gone to. Uh, I, like soccer, I play a lot of soccer here with the turf field and uh, with the gym. Hit the gym a lot. Uh, the pool, the sauna. Just, sauna. just, there's so much stuff to do here, man. Yeah. Um, let's see. And you are the um, diversity chair for the RIT crew team? So the diversity and inclusion is basically to make everybody on the team feel like they belong in a family and which is which is really fun because you when when I first came to the team I was an outsider, I was an international student. I did like everyone did make me feel like a part of a, a, a bigger family. So that's what I wanted to give out to the new freshmen or the new recruits who came by. That's what I aim to do with my position right now. So planning like fun activities, uh, team bonding ideas and stuff. Uh, it's been going pretty good. We have we had like a beach day. We have a lot of um, stuff planned for the team uh, yeah. to bond. And did you feel like that same sort of like inclusion uh, when like you started your classes last year? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. Uh, the 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 professors are really great here. Uh, they they respect where you come from. They respect you as a person. Uh, there's no judgment or anything, any sort of thing like that. Uh, some of the professors really wanted to know how it was like for me back in India and how I chose to come here and stuff like that. So it's, it's been pretty good. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I think I just got one more question. So like, you came from Bangalore, India, like southern India, to um, western New York. How is that? Has there any been, been like any crazy culture shock? Have you like what's like the craziest? difference like um it's, it's pretty like funny thing so before i came here i watched a lot of like american shows mm-hmm. to see how the way of life would be i know it's pretty <laughs> stupid but like i wanted to see how it was yeah no it is um it's pretty different to what, it, what they're showing the shows and stuff but it's not too different um one of the biggest biggest shocks for me was how nice people are i think i've told That's my good. parents a lot about this 
people are just genuinely nicer and they say hi and they, say, they ask you how you're doing even though they don't know you as a person which you, which never happens in India because like even if you know a person and you walk by them they don't say hi to you sometimes but over here just randomly they like, hey how's it going and stuff like that and you open the door for other people and stuff oh okay so I mean yeah nice that's nice like, things like that's, that yeah. that's way better than I thought thank you guys so much for watching I'm Emmett and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out